Hi, this is Gringo. We're sitting in my garage. Um, tonight I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make yarnies. There's little waste. It's a very simple process. Uh, yarnies are really effective when you're side drifting for steelhead. Um, they, they work really well for steelhead. You can scent them up. Uh, you can add eggs to them. Um, they work really well and they're really easy to make. So. Um, Let's see how you do it. I've got five strands of, this is Globug yarn, and I've got five strands. You want to have enough bulk there to keep your form and to give you know, some mass to the yarning. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I take those five strands, I'm gonna make a two colored yarny. So I'll have pink and white here. I've got my magic thread scissors and an extra piece of line. The line I'm going to use to feed through a straw. The straw you can use, you know, a big power straw uh, from, uh, you know, a Slurpee cup. Um, this happened to be one of the bendable straws that some restaurant gave us for my kid and uh, she doesn't use the, the straws anymore so I, I took it and I cut it down to make it easier to, easier to work with. And actually, the accordion piece on the straw comes in handy, and I'll explain that when we get to it. All I'm doing is feeding the fishing line through the straw, and that way I can pull my yarn through it. So I have my yarn going through the straw. And really, the only way waste you have when you're making yarnies this way is this first cut and the last cut from your, your strand of yarn. And that's just to make it even. So I trimmed it up. Now with this accordion, what I can do is I, I pinch the end, pull that out. Now all I need to do is push that accordion while I'm holding the yarn and you get the perfect amount of yarn coming out the other end. Take my magic thread, I'm going to pinch it with my thumb, do a couple wraps just to get started, and I'm just wrapping the yarn right where it comes out of the straw. Once I do a couple wraps to get it secure, then I'll pull it out a little bit just to make it easier. Put my thumb and my finger so I can kind of my kind of guide that magic thread to the one spot I'm wrapping. I'll wrap it ten times tight, and then break that yarn, hear that magic thread off. Then all I'm going to do is pull the yarn out, so it's the same length on both ends. Cut it off right at the right at the straw. All you want to do is in, kind of pull the ends of the yarn together in that gap, roll it around in your hand, and you have a yarn. In. Now, the better the better you, the more accurate are on your two ends between the between the uh, magic thread, the the more perfectly round it's going to be. But really. You know, once you get the scent on it and once it's floating around in the water, it's, it's not going to be perfectly round to begin with. Um, you can make them any size, you know, you can make, a, make them smaller than this, you can make them larger. You know, if we want one that's going to be, have more mass to it, you just pull, pull out more yarn. Wrap your crazy, your uh, crazy string, wrap your uh, magic thread around it. out on the other end, cut it off, Matt, you know, kind of bring your two pieces. The bigger they are, the more you have to get those two sides to intertwine and uh, catch each other. But still, just roll it up and there's your yarning. So you got one a quarter size, one a nickel size. 
you want to go down further, you can you can go down further in your length, you know, your length. If you want single color, you can do single color. I like doing multicolor, and I like to have con the colors contrast. Um, I like the this glow bug, go glow bug gl bling. Uh, it has uh, foil in it, so it, it's got some 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 flash to it. Um, and then you know it's it's all up to your imagination. You can have many color, any combination. You can have two colors, three colors, you know, you can have tiny ones down up to the, to the larger size ones. Put them on your egg loop and uh, scent them up and catch fish.